Bruce's Lost to the Darkness in Batman Lost Issue 1. Metal reaches its most confusing issue yet with Batman Lost Issue 1, which sees Batman still trapped in the dark multiverse and forced to live a life he hasn't actually lived yet, telling his supposed granddaughter the tale of his first case, seen in Detective Comics Issue 27. This issue is a strange and at oftentimes confusing journey through Batman and through Barbados's plans for him, which thanks to Bruce Wayne's death in Final Crisis and his subsequent return in The Return of Bruce Wayne has been awakened and attached itself to the Bat-themed tribes Bruce left over during his adventure through time. Throughout this issue, Bruce is plagued by the cosmic horror, who wishes to use Bruce's body as a type of vessel that will allow him into the real world. The issue is also a look at the determination of Batman, a man who never gives up and refuses his supposed dark destiny in favour of making the Bat symbol of doom something else. When I mentioned before that this book was confusing, it really really is, and it would be even more confusing to people who have only been reading this series and aren't aware that this series is actually stemming from a lot of different stuff over the years, from Grant Morrison's time on Batman, Final Crisis, and now Scott Snyder's time on Batman. Even someone like myself, who has read most of all of that stuff, found myself kind of perplexed by some of the things detailed. But at the same time, I was really excited that it was all being utilised in probably the best possible way it could have been, since when the book wasn't being confusing, it ended up telling us quite a bit about Barbados's plans and Bruce's role in those plans, what kind of effects it has on the multiverse and on time and everything in the DC universe. It's very interesting and very lore heavy, so if you haven't really read anything, you might be a little bit confused about what's going on in this book. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.